In this video, we will take a look at the new RTX video super resolution feature from NVIDIA. We will compare it against the native resolution to see what the differences are. We will also compare the power consumption of the GPU. There is some information that you need to know. NVIDIA introduced new upscaling technology in early 2023. This technology improves video quality by removing blocky compression artifacts and upscaling video resolution. And that's without using a lot of internet bandwidth. This tool utilizes a GPU accelerated algorithm to process video playback on supported web browsers. And these browsers are Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge. This technology is called RTX Video Super Resolution. There are four levels of VSR upscaling, with level 1 being the least intensive and level 4 being the most intensive. In my tests, I chose level 4 to determine the full potential of this technology. I already made a tutorial on how to enable it. You can find it in the description box. This technology doesn't work with laptops on battery power. It needs to be plugged in. I have a laptop with Core i7 12700H with 14 cores and 20 threads. It's paired with RTX 3070 laptop GPU. That's the device that we will compare VSR in. All upscaled videos are upscaled to 1440p. I started comparing videos for three different scenarios on YouTube. The first video is a talking head video. In 360p, VSR doesn't seem to do anything to the image quality. It just sharpens the edges and applies some sort of anti-aliasing filter. But with human faces, it makes them look ugly. If we instead tried 720p, we can see that it's much better than the 360p video. But that's due to the higher number of pixels inside the native resolution in the first place. 1080p looks the best. But again, 1080p is 2 million pixels wide. That's a lot of information to sample from. But even with that, it's still ugly. And anti-aliasing is all over the image. In this gameplay video, in 360p, you can see that it does almost nothing. And that's because the image is too compressed. It applied some anti-aliasing to the edges. And removed some of the compression artifacts and that's it. In 720p, the quality looks so much better than the 360p video. I would say it's the sweet spot for gameplay videos. In 1080p, I didn't see any difference at all. I checked if it was working and it actually was. Some would argue that the native resolution has more details. In this animation video, you can immediately see the benefits of VSR here. Edges look smooth and not over sharpened. It's pleasant to look at. In 720p, the difference is even more noticeable. The VSR video looks like a higher resolution video. In 1080p, differences start to be minimal at most. That's because the 1080p video is already sharp, but the VSR version gives you little more details, but not as much as 360p I would say. Here are more still frames I captured from other videos. Okay, after knowing the capabilities of this technology, let's take a look at the additional power it consumes to do so. I used here Hardware Info 64 to monitor the power consumption of the GPU. I tested the video playing back in YouTube inside Chrome with no other tabs opened. I tested all four levels of the quality from the NVIDIA control panel. Now I should note that these tests are not scientific 100%. These are just my findings regarding the power consumption with my own laptop. When we take a look at the power consumption of the 360p native, we can see it's using a normal 18 watts, while with VSR, it's using 24 watts and that's not bad. However, you will notice in 720p that the power consumption went up to 43 watts. That's a huge difference between 360p and 720p, but that's not it. In 1080p, the power consumption went up to 120 watts. If we take a look at level number 2, you will notice the same story happening again here. Native is normal in all resolutions, but when we enable RTX VSR, we notice the same numbers we had before. Insane power consumption especially with higher resolutions. In level 3 we can start to notice a pattern here. Native looks normal and VSR takes so much power. Level 4 doesn't change from what we've seen before. 
I guess we can see that there is no difference between the quality levels. The difference is between the resolutions. So, what did we learn from power consumption? Power consumption doesn't change between VSR's levels. 720p and above consume so much electricity with RTX VSR. The higher the resolution, the more power it will consume. If you happen to test the RTX VSR on your own, please let me know what you found. In conclusion, RTX VSR is a useful tool for anyone who watches a lot of video content online, especially those with lower internet speeds and data cap plans. RTX VSR can sometimes enhance the quality of low resolution videos, but sometimes it makes them even worse. I think with learning, this technology could improve watching experiences for some people in the future. However, using this technology does consume so much power, and that's a thing you should keep in mind if you're planning on using it. So that's it for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips and comparisons. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.